Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez says he's heard from the White House and it is offering assistance. He's also signed a local declaration of a state of emergency enabling him to hire contractors had to clear a curfew if need be. The one is not planned on right now. Meanwhile, people living here in Miami and other cities have some very serious safety concerns because what, what you're looking at in the distance. In a city filled with huge cranes, some will not forget these dramatic images of two cranes collapsing in Miami two years ago during Hurricane Irma. You see these cranes all over the city, they're building so much that you kind of have to be concerned, especially with a hurricane of this size coming. Those cranes are safe, says the director of emergency management. We know that they're up and we know that they're not going to come down. The Miami-Dade mayor says people with special needs should make sure they call 311 to make sure they're on the county's list. We will be picking up our special needs residents tomorrow morning and putting them uh, in shelter. Uh, we have not ordered any evacuations in Miami-Dade County at this time. Storm surge is another concern as a parking lot at Hall of Marina flooded. Owners move boats out of Prime Marina in Coconut Grove. To keep safe and hopefully our boat will be in good condition. It's all over floods. The mayor of Miami says the city has additional pumps and contractors to cope. We are monitoring our king tide, which unfortunately uh, is tracking 11 inches above normal. Plagued by past flooding, Miami Beach has 10 pumps in key locations and has cleaned out drains. Just please do not put anything out at this point. We're going around just trying to make sure that the streets are clean, that the, the drains are clean. Now, a spokesman for the mayor of Miami says the city's taking some aggressive steps in terms of crane safety. He says companies have been told to make sure the cranes are secured before the storm strikes. He says anyone failing to do so will, in fact, face some hefty fines. We are live in Miami. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.